Hi, babe. Um, it was pretty funny because I got asked a question that I was actually going to touch up on. It was not first on my list, but let's go into it. And it is how far apart should you schedule dates like with a same guy? This always depends, but I recommend that when you first start dating someone, let's say you had your first date on a Tuesday. Um, idea, ideally, I would wait until the next week because most likely you are already booked for that week and it makes sense. It just seems natural. So let's say a second date, you schedule it until the next week. You can still give him a weekday or you can try to schedule him in on the weekend days, like prime dating time. And after that, if a guy likes you, he's going to start asking you to see him more. Uh, for example, one of the guys I'm dating, one of my favorites, um, we went out on our first date, it was a Monday. And I gave him a second date until the Thursday of the next week. It was quite far apart, okay? Then after that, we met on, the, on a Sunday, I believe so. But not that Sunday, like the next Sunday, it was like more than a week apart. But because of the schedule, how the schedule was, I'm pretty booked for <laughs> most of the weeks. I always have things to do and I have built my life so I always have something interesting to do or even if I plan to stay in it is scheduled in. After that, for example, I gave him a date for a Thursday again and that date went pretty well and of course he, he wanted to book me again like as soon as possible so i told him that i it was possible for him to for him and i to meet on the next friday and that was set, settled in but today he called me again well no he didn't call me he he texted me and he asked how my plans were whether um, i had the chance to meet him on a on sunday and bear in mind, I do like this guy. This guy is really stepping up. So I am going to go out with him tomorrow on Sunday, even though I already already saw him this week on Thursday. But it has been like an ongoing thing. But my recommendation is that when you're starting a date, when you start dating someone, try to not go out with them more than once a week. Just so it seems natural and... <laughs> Try to actually have things to do so you can hold up your energy. If not, fake it until you make it. But it's important to not be too available. This is something I, I wanted to save for another video, but it came up today. And women create the love stories. You know, like when a man meets a woman and maybe then they eventually um, get married, they get engaged. There's always a story. In, in the story, there's always something intriguing about it. It's not like, oh yeah, we met and that night we slept together and yeah, it was, now we're together. It, you, you have a lot of influence about how a man perceives you from the start. And bear in mind that you don't know who is going to be that guy yet. However, you can make this a habit. I try to treat every day as a special day. Obviously, there are days where you feel like more exhausted or whatever, but I'm a firm believer that you should always dress up. And no matter the occasion, like not because you're going to a first date, it means you're going to slack on your 
on your grooming because that is something you should be already doing for yourself. You have to have romance in your life before you meet someone. And that's a way of setting the standard. Like there is not a day that I do not dress up, like to go out. I know sometimes I come here like in my pajamas and whatever, but it's just the time I can fill. But when I'm actually out and about in, in the real world, you will never catch me not being dressed up. I, I am a firm believer that you should always dress up. You never know who you're going to run into or who you're going to meet. And if it's not because of that motivation, it's because it, you will feel so much better. But I am digressing. So yeah, the point of spacing out your dates is just to be mindful that you don't want to look too accessible. And ideally, you shouldn't be accessible. You want to always schedule it in your calendar. And this is going to train the man to respect your time and to actually know he has to earn a slot in your calendar. And remember, how you treat him is the way he's going to assume you're tr treating the other men once they find out you're dating other men. Because they will eventually. Eventually, they will. And yeah, I mean, there's room for flexibility. It all depends. But I know that when you meet someone and you like them especially, you want to make exceptions. And this is the worst thing you can do. So be very careful. You don't want to mess a potential relationship up just because you didn't uphold your standards and, and follow your own rules. And yeah, so short answer, don't see a guy you just started dating more than once a week. After, like when you see him like stepping up his game, like actually like planning dates, like it all depends on how you see his progress. You can be a little bit more flexible and give him a couple of dates a week. I think that more than a couple of dates a week is too much, but yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Let me know how your dating experiences are going. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy my content and if you're here listening and you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.